Hey folks, it's Chad here at Airstream of Greensboro. Behind me I have the 2023 International 28RB with the twin bed option. I'm super excited to be able to show you this one today. We're going to jump into a walk around of the outside and the inside. If you're curious about the specifications, so things like weights, lengths, all that kind of stuff, I'll leave a description there in the, or I'll leave a link in the description there. Feel free to click on that. That'll give you all the specifications you could wish for. Let's jump into the walk around now. Now, as I start the outside, I want to mention I have the awning out that is a powered Zipti awning that you get the powered Zipti awning standard on the International. And that may be one of the big reasons that you're looking at an International versus a Flying Cloud. Uh, the International is going to kind of elevate all aspects of the Airstream travel trailer. Now, the exterior is going to be the same, same build quality, same aluminum, same stainless steel rock guards. But things like the awning being powered, you're also going to get the umbrella fabric. And that the benefit to that umbrella fabric is you're able to put it away even when it's wet. You're not going to have uh, issues with mold uh, that kind of build up those types of things. You also get it on the window awnings all the way around. And remember, window awnings are standard on the International where it's an option on the Flying Cloud. And again, you can put those right up. Now, I do recommend, I think, eventually pulling those out and letting those um, dry, but you don't have to worry about putting them away um, when you're actually at the campsite and you get a rain come in. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this in. Again, it's a powered awning. And like I said, that's a big reason why you may wanna get the International. Now, as far as the controls go, uh, you've got a power switch, so you can click this off for when you're traveling to kind of ensure that there's not an accident that it runs out. Now the status light's gonna kind of tell you, hey, when something's happening, that light will kind of flash. And then it will also tell you when it's open and it's closed. And you can tilt this awning to the back, towards the rear or towards the front. And that is ma mainly gonna help if you have a light rain. Now, if you get a heavy rain, definitely put the awning in, as well as if you have a real breezy day or you leave the campsite, always put the awning in 100% of the time, never leave the campsite without putting the awning in. Now, as far as to open or close, you just click the button, you know, push the button, and you don't have to hold it, you're just gonna push it. So I'm gonna hit close, and then we'll walk out. Now the awning is running in on its own. It's gonna pull all the way back on its own. Uh, it's gonna lower first, and then it will start going back. Now, as the awning's going back, and I wanna kinda give you an idea of what it looks like and the amount of time it takes for it to go up, I wanted to tell you a little bit about Airstream Greensboro. We are a part of the largest dealer network in the world. And that means we sell more Airstreams than any other dealer network uh, in the world, across the country. And for you, you are gonna get the best deals when it comes to Airstream. Um, you're also gonna be able to get them in a quicker time. We've got stuff coming in to our stores every day that I can get a hold of. So there's a good chance that I may have the floor plan you're looking for, or I can order it in a fairly quick time. You're also gonna get the best pricing on Airstream and we can pay more for your trades than any other dealer in the country. Now you can see the only going in, it does have the aluminum wrap, which I absolutely love. The Airstream does that, they even do that on the Flying Cloud as well. Now here at the top, it's gonna to kind of fold itself in and then wrap that aluminum uh, piece around it. Now this may happen occasionally, so it just kind of got confused. And we'll just hit close again. And it got it that time. So if that happens, that's kind of, I wouldn't say abnormal. I guess it's not abnormal. But it may kind of get there and think that it's always all the way in. Um, if it does that, you're just going to hit the open button a little bit and then hit the close button and it will actually close all the way and wrap that aluminum protection around the awning and that aluminum protection does quite a few things uh it's going to protect it from the sun but it also protects it from anything you might hit as you're going down the road now stainless steel rock guards are standard on the international as well as the uh solar guards now remember the center solar guard opens and then allows you to open that window on the inside and i mentioned this is the twin bed bed model that's going to be in the back it's the rear bed now up front, you're gonna have your two 30 pound pro propane tanks here, the power ton jack with a, a light, and you have the Demco hitch system. 
The cool thing about this is with it locked down, you can drop it down onto your ball. It will lift up and then lock in place automatically. You're gonna have the awning, or not awning, the solar expansion port right there. That plugs directly into your battery. So you are gonna want to have the solar uh, charge controller on your solar, solar panel that you plug in. And then you also have a quick disconnect for your LP. Batteries will go into this box. It shouldn't have batteries currently because they aren't shipping with them anymore. You're gonna essentially pick which battery that you want. So you can do lead acid, AGM, or lithium, just depending on what you need and what will best fit you. Uh, the nice thing about that is Airstream is no longer charging you for batteries. And then you have to, like, hey, it's got AGM, so I want lithium. Uh, in the day, you know, 2022, you were actually buying the AGMs and then also having to buy the lithiums. So it's a nice thing now that they just don't even charge you. You're gonna have the LED lights all the way around. You've got the awesome aluminum step there. I do have a video that I'm putting together on how to do that and I'll link that above if you wanna watch everything about the aluminum step. The, of course, the door's there. You know, these two windows here are gonna open. You've got the awesome port windows above. This does have the optional two, uh, two ACs. Uh, it's gonna come standard with one. You can option it with two, which I highly recommend on the 28. You've got power on the campsite side. You're gonna have Goodyear tires. These are ST225 75R15s uh, with aluminum rims. You're also gonna have the Dexter auto adjusting brakes and you have Dexter torsion axles. So there's no springs under there. It's a torsion axle setup. Uh, it's going to ride better. They're independent suspension. You're also going to see that shock absorber right there as well. Uh, it's going to ride very well. Very low center of gravity for Airstream. You can see that just by see, by looking at it. But with it being independent and it being that Dexter torsion system, this thing just tracks phenomenally behind you when you're towing. And then on the twin bed model, you are going to get some extra outside storage. So you're going to get this first side here. It's nice and deep. It goes all the way back, kind of towards that back corner, as you can see. And then it's going about halfway as far as my arm in. And as you come around the back, you're going to see an additional storage compartment off the back. This is going to be your larger compartment. This one goes back, you know, almost full arm deep. And it goes all the way to that corner there and all the way to that corner there to quite a bit storage in here and then you still have the storage that is in the bumper remember this is wet storage so just whatever you put in there know that it's going to get wet i am beside the highway so if you're here in the highway that is why airstream in greensboro is wide off, right off the highway so i get some highway noise you can see that back on in there the standard backup camera that comes on all the airstreams your LED marker lights, LED tail lights. I love the very red, white, and blue of the international nameplate as well. And then moving to the non-campsite or business side, you're gonna have, again, really nice full-length awning there. This window opens. You have additional storage on this side. And very similar to the one on the other side, it goes about halfway, so as far as arm, half of my arm in, goes back nice and deep there. And then under this is gonna be where you find your tanks. So you've got your gray tank and black tank outlet. You also have a sewer hose storage there, and you can get a good shot of the heavy duty stabilizer jacks. Those are a manual on the International. To get uh, powered, you've gotta to go to the Globetrotter. That is something I would love for Airstream to change, but they haven't done that yet. So it's manual. You can hook a little adapter onto a drill, turn that into a powered one if you would like. And then also you can kind of notice down here, we have a full aluminum underbelly. So it's a full aluminum wrap. It's going to go all the way around the top. The roof is aluminum with a reflective white paint on it. And the bottom is also aluminum, even as you come across to your tanks. They are protected by metal as well. So it's really nice to see just how well Airstream builds these campers. Even in 2023, they are not, 
They are not slipping on quality of materials. Now, right here is gonna be your city fill. That's your city fill inlet there. That's gonna go straight to your faucets, to your shower. That does have a pressure regulator already built into it. So you don't wanna add a pressure regulator to the outside. If you watch some of my early videos, I said to do that. I was incorrect, do not do that. And behind this door, you've got your gravity fed potable water, fresh water fill here. And it's got a little seep valve. Fill this up until it comes out and you're good to go. Now on this side, you've got your, you've got your axles and everything, but what's really cool that Airstream does, and I almost always forget to mention this, as a loud truck there, your AC units, generally on an RV, on a travel trailer, when those condensate, it's gonna just fall off the side of the camper. But on an Airstream, they actually pipe the condensate down and it goes into the back wheel well. I don't know if you can see it here, right there. So it's just gonna drip right out onto the ground here. So it's not running down the side of your coach. It's not giving you watermarks or anything like that. It's just gonna pipe right down in the wheel well and then just drop out down there, which I love that feature that Airstream does. You're gonna have your 50 amp power plug. If it's a 30 amp, that means you have one AC. If it's 50 amp, that means you have two ACs. It is the fantastic smart plug. It has the light indication to tell you what's happening with the power that's coming to it. And as far as unlocking it, you're just gonna squeeze here and pull out. It's very easy to plug in and very easy to unlock. Beside that, you've got your tape, cable TV and satellite inputs. And then you do have an outside shower. I have a key with me today so I can open it. So outside shower with hot and cold water. There's a spot there for the, the uh, faucet to hang on to. Great spot to be able to wash your feet off, your dogs, whatever it might be before you head into the camper. Black tank flush there, that is standard on all your Airstreams. That's gonna pipe right into the black tank and flush out your black tank. And then furnace is right there. And just as you have pretty much everything now with Airstream, it's gonna come with a Gerard on-demand tankless hot water heater. It has been a fantastic hot water heater uh, so far. It's on demand, you're just gonna set the temperature of the shower that you want the shower temperature to be, and then take a shower, just turn it all the way to hot. So that is the exterior of the 28RB International. Let's jump to the inside and do a walk around of it. Now, as I move to the inside, I do always like to talk about the door. Uh, I talk about it in every video and I'm sure my regulars will like, Chad, stop talking about the door. But it's important. It is a really nice door. Airstream spends eight hours on average building this door. You've got a fantastic aluminum, aluminum extruded frame here. And it's got six welds on it uh, on each side. So a total of 12 welds. The other thing I love to point out, and if you're watching Airstream videos, especially mine, I show these welds on almost every video. So right there's one. There's gonna be one here in the frame. These welds are done by hand and they just go to an extraordinary um, effort to make sure that the welds are just perfect every time. I've never seen a weld come from Airstream that just wasn't perfect. And you know, even here, these are all gonna be just phenomenal welds. I did welding back when I, in the day when I was younger. So I guess I appreciate welding. And then you've got the door there, the flat door. Now you always wanna marry these back together before you shut the door. And that is just so that this frame doesn't get bent. Um, as it's being slammed, it kind of helps these keep their shape and stay, uh, stay together, I guess. Um, now when you shut this door, they call it the vault door of the RV industry, simply because it does shut so well, such a satisfying sound and really gives you an indication of the quality of an Airstream. And again, I'll link the video for the steps above. So you're going to step into the 28 RV. That's going to give you this really nice couch across the front. Pillows are included. Above that, you're going to have your backlit storage area. Now, the first section here is going to be where your entertainment stuff can plug in. Uh, you can add a DVD player here if you want to, or even a Roku or Apple TV. This circuit here is inverted, so you're able to plug something in like that and then watch TV even if you're uh, dry camping. And as you probably know by now, the 2023 model years did come with 12 volt TV. So that's a 12 volt TV. You don't even have to turn the inverter on to power that TV. Uh, it does come with the JL audio speaker system 
It is a fantastic sounding system. I say this all the time, but it just sounds so good. You've got JL audio speakers. You ha it comes with a subwoofer and it sounds incredible. Now, I just did a video on the Flying Cloud 28. And if you're curious to kind of see the difference of the two, I'll link that, that video above so you can check it out as well. But you're gonna see a whole different kind of cushion setup. You're gonna see different hardware. You're gonna see different laminates over top of your light, light Italian plywood. But the floor plan is also gonna be very similar in the sense that you still have the storage back here behind the couch area. You still have the beautiful windows that go all the way across. You've got that window there that opens. You still have the storage. It is a different setup. The International is gonna give you kind of the traditional Airstream uh, sliding doors for your storage area. And then on your kitchen area, you're gonna have a solid surface countertop there as opposed to your Fulmico countertop. Now I'm gonna switch my camera and set it down so I can show you the bed system real quick and then we'll continue the walkthrough. Now, as far as putting this system, the bed kind of in place on this, this part, you're just gonna pull out down here. I like to pull the bottom cushions out and let those be the ones that are out further. And then your cushions towards the back can just sit in place like this. And then you can remove the cushions here and to give you a little bit more space, but there's a ton of space just like this. Now this can seat, Airstream tells me if it's not um, marked, that it should be able to seat at least 350 pounds, if not more, I'm 270. And as far as room goes, this is quite comfortable and there's plenty of room here too. I'm not even touching there. And I've got more room here. If I needed, if I was taller and needed more room, I'd have plenty of room right there. Now I'm gonna move over to the dinette. Let's see that, that looks good. Now putting the dinette down, one thing I immediately notice about this dinette is it is actually deeper than the 28 foot flying cloud. If you watch that video, I actually mentioned how shallow, I guess, or skinny the table is. And there was a lot of room right here for me. Now I fit in here. You guys see I'm a larger guy, I'm, I'm, I am an American. And um, so I weigh about 270 and I need a little bit of room. I've got plenty of room. I can sit here comfortably and, and the cushions are comfortable. Uh, but I did like the Flying Clouds table a little bit better because it was just more shallow. Now as far as putting this in, what I would do here, go ahead and pull these cushions off. There we go. Put those there. And then I like to pull these guys up just to get them out of the way. And then now I can lift this up. There's a little lever right here. You're gonna push that down and it just folds up and locks in place. And then the whole table can slot down. Now I can put these back in place, put this one back in place there. And we have our dinette. I'm gonna take a quick look at the camera, make sure yeah, it looks good. And then I'll lay down. So uh, 5'10 is about my height. And I can lay here, no problems. Now I am touching. And I can touch, my head is almost touching this one and my feet are touching there. But to give you an idea, uh, can you be 5'11 and sleep here? You can be a little bit taller if you, if you, you know, pull your knees up a little bit. Tall person on the couch, shorter person in the dinette. But can an adult sleep here? Absolutely, and you could put two kids here, depending on age. Definitely two kids um, on the main couch here for sure. There's plenty of room in that area for two kids um, right there. Maybe even three kids. You've got the port windows above. Now there's not any uh, storage on this side above the dinette. You do have storage above the kitchen area. Right there, there's your pack. Every Airstream, new Airstream should come with a pack. So good storage there and it's backlit. The light switch for that is right here. And then this other switch is gonna be the lights over top of the counter there. And then as I mentioned, you do have the solid surface countertops uh, right along there. You have the undermounted stainless steel sink. 
and the residential faucet that does have a pull down right there and then behind here is actually your water heater on the 27 the the water heater control is actually in the bathroom on the 28 both the flying cloud and international it's right here in the kitchen area you've got your uh, inverter on off switch and control system and then you've got your sea level uh, percentage tank monitor system it's also going to give you a uh, battery state of charge uh, that's just going to basically tell you 14 volts you are going to need a little bit more um, stuff put in to get more information out of the battery system if you're looking for that now as far as storage goes in the kitchen this is the main storage area you do have the trash can there you're going to have the pull out with your silver organizer and another drawer underneath just like the flying cloud there is not a pantry that pulls out or anything like that. You do have kind of a little spice rack area right there, but there's not like a pull out pantry. I do think that's an improvement Airstream could do. Maybe shorten this couch a little bit uh, and pull this up and add a little bit of a um, pantry there would be really nice. Now the vent itself does vent outside. It's a fantastic style. I mean, it's massive vent. Um, three burner cooktop. This has the optional convection microwave. You can also get just the oven. You're just not gonna have a microwave. I do recommend doing the convection microwave. Uh, so it'd be convection oven, microwave, air fryer, and you can do other things like, um, where is it? Preheat, roast, dehydrate. If you wanna dehydrate some food, it will do that as well. There's a little bit of storage underneath. And then the storage underneath your um, cute little little deal here so this is under the dinette now the dinette on the international is different in the, that it has this aluminum bottom piece here it's got aluminum bars that come around to create the bench it's also got this kind of curved style bench that you're not going to see on the flying clouds you have an additional little fold down door here with another pull out container and then similar styling to the front there so that is going to be a something different from what you're going to see on the flying cloud and then on the tv part you've got the 12 volt tv there you do have all your connections right there to the side as well as that inverted circuit so if you are dry camping you want to be able to plug it in the laptop while you're sitting at the dinette uh, you can easily do that right there and run it off the inverter and your storage up front you're going to have a little bit of storage right here. It does go back a little bit there so you can stuff a blanket in there. And then you've got storage that goes all the way across the front of the camper there. All of these tubs do come with it. It's a good deep storage. If you're wanting to do a bunch of lithium batteries, the 28 is a great option for that as well. Put those right in there. And then there is a little bit of storage right back into here as well as another inverted circuit if you needed that near the bed the storage under there there's no cover anything for that so that's going to stay open there may be a good solution for that that i haven't seen yet now as far as your refrigerator as i move back i believe this is the eight cubic foot again check the um check the link below for all the specifications it's a nice deep 12 volt refrigerator you don't have the fins back there like you would have with the propane propane setups. This is just gonna be 12 volts. So it's just gonna run straight off the battery and then run off the converter when you have uh, power connected to it. A little bit of storage above. You could you make that kind of a pantry-ish part there. And then you're gonna have your wardrobe next, good deep storage above. There's a light there for your storage area. And then you're just gonna have this single wardrobe in the 28 foot now if you do the twin bed option which this one has i'm going to talk about that more in a second but you also gain these additional wardrobes with shelves that you can take out on both sides so there's a lot of wardrobe storage in the twin bed model that you're not necessarily going to have in the queen bed model now the shower here it is the traditional split bath shower system just give you a shot there there is a a seat right there if you're tall and need a spot to sit down and then you've got the nice shower head and yes i will stand inside so standing inside the shower 
uh, it's good room. It feels very much like the other um, Airstreams that I've been in. Uh, I've been in quite a few. You got about three inches of height right there. Remember, 5'10", probably 5'11"-ish uh, with shoes on. You also have a nice, really nice shower head with on-off button. You can also pull this across and there's a little lock there to hold that, help hold that in place. Uh, and that connection over there, that's going to be good for like uh, light bathing suits, maybe small towels, but I don't think that's going to do too great with heavy towels. And we'll pop out of the shower and then move over to the bathroom area. Now I do like the porthole that you get with the International. Uh, you're not going to see that on the Flying Cloud. Uh, I love this look and the design that Airstream did with that kind of porthole there. That's the inside of that if you're wondering what the porthole looks on the inside. Now as far as uh, the bathroom now this is going to be again if you saw my flying cloud 28 rb video um, same kind of mirror setup here uh, when you're kind of facing directly to the mirror as you can see you're not seeing your face you're seeing your chest you actually have to kind of look up and then you can see your face and check your hair this one's a little bit better as far as mirror goes that you don't have to look as high to see uh, yourself in the reflection there is some good storage behind this right here kind of a little medicine cabinet be nice to have a little extra shelf right there and then you got some storage down here uh, and that holds itself up too which is quite nice and then you've got the of course the aluminum interior is visible you're going to have power there that's just your light switch you've got your surface mounted stainless steel sink now this is going to be for mica in the bathroom if you want a quarry in the bathroom you just need to step up a little bit higher into the globe trotter and then and pottery barn and classic uh, towel holder and also another nice towel holder here and again all of these touches touches and finishes are going to be slightly or just elevated versus the flying cloud now there's some good storage back mm -hmm. here again would love to see a shelf right there storage underneath right there and then you also have your toilet paper holder which is in a great spot now as far as how much room is in here for when you are sitting on the commode and taking care of business there's good room in the RB. I feel like the bathrooms in the RBs are always a little bit more roomy. My knees aren't touching anything. The door can easily shut. I'm not going to touch that. And the toilet paper is in an easy spot to get to. Uh, sometimes the where the toilet paper is, you've got to open the door to get to it. And opening the door isn't necessarily that easy. Now, the controls for the hot water heater are not in the bathroom. They're going to be in the kitchen. On your 27FB, it's in the bathroom as well. It makes that a little bit different. So good size bathroom. That's one of the things I always do like about the RBs, uh, the rear bed model. So the bathroom seems to always be a little bit more roomier. Now coming into the twin bed area, the phrase I hear a lot with the twin bed is Chad, I like my spouse. And you know that I, I, that's good. That's a good thing. You should like your spouse. Hopefully everyone likes their spouse, loves their spouse. Uh, the twin bed is not about liking or disliking your spouse the twin bed is about having this awesome aisle right down the middle now if this is the queen bed and i'll show you i've got a 27 fb and i'm going to do a video on on soon the uh, international and it's got the queen bed in it the beds here in the middle there is room there's there's plenty of room to walk around again you're not going to have these wardrobes on each side but there's room to walk around uh, and it's not quite as bad uh, versus like the 25 where um, the bed is going east to west the 27, the bed's going north to south if you do the queen bed. What's nice about this space is you can easily get up at night to go to the bathroom. And we all know as you get older, we go to the bathroom more at night. It's also a space that you can actually get ready in. And it's fairly comfortable. Like there's plenty of room in here for me to move around, uh, for me to, to get ready, to sit down, to stand up. And you could even have, say you have a party going on and you want to come back here and have a conversation you can do that there's enough room to sit back here you should have a bed to sit on if you want to um, it's just a usable space you could put a table back here and have you know have game game night or something like that and maybe have the kids back here playing games and then you're up there at the front enjoying the tv and you do have a tv back here so 12 volt tv so you know as you're thinking about do i want queen bed or twin bed it's not about whether or not you like your spouse. It's just about the room that it gives you. You're going to split up this storage. So you're going to have about half outside and half inside. There is storage underneath. Right there. And you've got a little pull-out tub. And another one right here. And you'll have a similar setup on the other side. 
You swing around right there and right there. And again, as I mentioned, you're going to split up that storage so you'll have a little bit on the inside and a little bit on the outside. You're also going to have a nice center uh, nightstand with a drawer that pulls out nice and deep. And there is USB power on both sides. There's actually two USB ports, one on each side. It's kind of hard to get the camera in there. There we go. One, one on each side. And then you do have 110 power right there in the middle. Now that is not an inverted circuit. That is a circuit I've actually mentioned to Airstream a couple of times now. This one should be inverted, the inverted circuit. You do have an inverted circuit right there. So if you need to plug it in at night so that you can um, you know, take care of your CPAP or something of that nature, there is one right there. But that's not where your CPAP is going to be. It's going to be sitting right here. So I'd love for them uh, to convert that to a inverted circuit in the future. You do have good storage above. And it's again, it's going to be that, that awesome sliding door. Uh, storage goes back quite deep this one has gotten off track <laughs> which that does happen with those they can easily jump off track but they're fairly easy to fix as well you've got reading lights there you also have your second zone of speakers back here uh, center window is going to open that's the one with the uh, window awning behind it this top window here will open and you have the fair, very nice port window and then on the other side you're going to also have a, another window that opens and then the port window above or below, excuse me. Nice that you can open basically three windows back here and get some good uh, ventilation through. Now you have a couple of sunlight. So you've got a sunlight right there. And you're going to have another one that's over the living area. Both of these are going to have a little pole deal that you can shut the sun off if you want to. And then you do have a fantastic fan right here as well. And the nice thing about the fantastic fan being up here, if it's a cool day like today here in North Carolina, you can click that on and then open your windows, you know, all these windows that open and get a really nice breeze coming into the camper um, on, on kind of not a super hot day, but not, you know, a cold day, just a day where you're wanting some, a little bit of extra temperature there. So this is the 2023 International 28RB. It's a fantastic floor plan. There's a few things now, I would like to see different. I didn't mention you do have dimmers on all your lights as well. That's your controls for your two ACs. Uh, now, this does have, as I mentioned, two ACs. It is the air-connected system. So, you're in, your return is right there. Um, and then you've got your ducts that come out. Uh, they are uh, connected together. So, both ACs are cooling and heating the whole camper. That does have a heat pump in it. And then you also have a traditional uh, forced air furnace at the at below. So if it's a really cold day, you're going to use the furnace. But most of your chillier days that, that us RVers are going for, uh, we would just use a heat pump. All the LED lights throughout. The air, con the air system, air conditioning system in the Airstream is going to run about 20 to 30% quieter than a traditional RV system. So that's really nice. You can actually have a conversation over top of it, reading lights up front. So just that fantastic floor plan. Now, a few things they could do different to make this even better. But overall, it's a good floor plan. Now, I'm sitting in probably my favorite seat in the 28RB. The thing I love about the 28RB is you're facing the TV when you're sitting on the couch. A lot of the other four plans, the 25, 27, um, you're not facing the couch to 23. You're also not facing the couch, the, not couch, but the TV. I like this. Uh, my wife and I, uh, we really enjoy, you know, watching a show at night. Uh, and being able to kind of just, we usually watch about one show generally, and then, you know, we'll kind of go about the rest of our night. And this would be a great setup for that. There's a few things, as I mentioned, like I'd love to see a pantry. Uh, I think they could squeeze a pantry in here very easy. Uh, and maybe a little bit more storage uh, with the 28. But that's something you've kind of got to look at. Do you want uh, this really nice floor plan with the couch here and the dinette, or, uh, but a little bit less storage, or do you want more storage? Um, with a 27. So I'm going to have a 27, uh, a 2023 international 27 FB video coming up very soon. So be sure, sure to subscribe. Um, if you're interested in seeing that video. Now, if you've made it to this point of the video, thank you. Thank you for watching the whole video and me uh, ramble about Airstreams. Uh, I love Airstreams. I love the customers that buy Airstreams. 
Uh, if you have any questions, my contact information is in the description below. Feel free to reach out. Uh, I enjoy answering questions. And again, I do sell our Airstreams for a living. So if you're interested in getting an Airstream, I'll be happy to help you with that as well. I'm Airstream certified. Uh, I've done all the schooling and everything. Uh, feel free to reach out below as well. And if you're looking for the specifications, those are also going to be in the description. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. If you like the 28RB, tell me down in the comments why you like it. Or if you think the 27FB is the better floor plan, well, tell me in the description or in the comments why uh, you like the 27FB. Other than that, I hope you're having a great day. You guys live riveted, and we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye.